What's up YouTube, Double K here. Today I'm going to share a video adding a third hard drive to my Alienware M15 R3 laptop, which is going to be an M2 2230. These things are kind of small, almost the size of a Wi-Fi card you might find in a laptop. Um, <clears throat> now I hadn't seen any videos detailing this specifically when I researched it, so I decided to go ahead and record my experience here. This is my first ever YouTube video. I'm just a regular person like a lot of you watching and don't do this on a professional level. In the future, if I'm doing something cool, I may upload more videos on occasion. There's really no need to subscribe at this time, but at least if you found this video gave some good info for you, hitting the like button would be cool. You can download a service manual by simply searching for it off of Dell's website. It contains a lot of great technical information. You'll get a PDF version of it, and you can even download that to your device for future reference. There are two parts I purchased for this upgrade. I got them both off of eBay because it was just an easier way for me to go. I could have gotten the uh, heat sink slash mounting bracket from Dell, but I just didn't want to go through the headache, and this is the way I went with it. Uh, your laptop does not come with one of these brackets to mount the 2230 if it didn't originally have one. So summing it up, this is our target right here that we're going to be looking to accomplish today. Okay guys, getting right into it. The back cover has eight screws. Six of those screws have retainers on them and they'll remain part of the back cover. The two top screws near the hinged area have to be removed. Once you do that, pretty simply, voila and we are ready to begin. So what we have here are the three slots now. Here's the first one, the first SSD, the second SSD, and then the third one, which is a 2230, you'll see it actually on the board there. So this is the 512 gigabyte that the laptop originally came with right here. Uh, about a week or two later after I bought the laptop, I installed this two terabyte, uh, SSD into the second 2280 slot. So today we're going to be using the third slot, which is 2230 uh, for more storage. I went simple. I bought a 256 gig. Uh, the way I like to do things is have my operating system and just some basic stuff, then install all my games, Discord, uh, Steam, a Ubisoft launcher onto the separate two terabyte on a separate drive. And then I figured this third drive uh, you know for the cheap price that i was able to do this for uh 256 gig i'm gonna store all my uh pictures and music so i think it's a nice way to break it up it's just a particular way i like to do things so um before we uh actually start doing the install as always first we're gonna this is the battery right here we're gonna go ahead and unplug the battery just a little bit of a wiggle and pull now i did unplug this before so it's a little bit easier this time around as you can see when I installed the uh, two terabyte. Uh, it was uh, a little bit tough getting it out the first time. Uh, there's a little pull tab here that you pull on that you can try to help, but anyway, there we are. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the 2230 to the thermal bracket. As you can see, this has a slot that it sits on. Very gently press it in place. And it's even, it's not protruding. It's sitting like on the collar of the raised uh, thread that you have to put the screw into. Now also take note, I got kind of lucky too. It came with three screws. Uh, there was a screw in the motherboard <coughs> To secure this so take note that this screw if you can see the way I'm holding it it's a flat head totally flat so it's gonna sit flush here it's not a cone head where you you know it wouldn't sit properly so we got to just go ahead and screw this in and then we're gonna get ready to install this right in all right, so here we go. Just a quick recap. When I installed the second SSD, when I bought the laptop, there was not a screw 
to mount it. Thankfully, it came with a screw. Uh, I went, this one had a screw waiting for it. So I got lucky there, and I had the extra screws. So I went ahead and removed the screw already. It's just sitting up over there. So, as you can see, this is all assembled. It is nice and flush and sitting on the collar like a half moon. So now we're gonna just take this and we're gonna go ahead, put it in, voila, and it's lined up perfectly with the hole and it's sitting nice and flush. All right, so all we have to do now is we're gonna go ahead and get the screw in and secure that. Okay, so I have everything set up. I just wasn't sure how great my magnetic screwdriver would work with this, but. Okay, we are in nice and snug. Now that's it. So we're gonna go ahead now and reconnect our battery. I am working on a static mat here. Okay, a little bit of patience, don't rush it. Take your time. I'm showing you guys the real deal here. I'm not editing and cutting things out. If I make a mistake, I'm not afraid to show you. But anyway, beauty. All right, so what we have left here now is we're just gonna go ahead and put the back cover back on. Now don't make the mistake I made, okay? There are insert tabs on the top of this. <laughs> the first time I ever took this cover off, I screwed the whole thing together and had to take it all off. So slide the tabs in. She's sitting nice. And just go ahead and put all your screws back and we'll be back in a minute for the grand finale, hopefully. Well, here we are. We're all back together and ready for the big test. First time. Okay. We are powering up. It's probably taking a couple seconds to wind up because the battery is disconnected for a bit. Okay, here we are. Let's get in. All right, we are in. So this is what it's all about now. Here's the big test. We're gonna look and see if that third hard drive is now here. And the third hard drive is not showing. It is not here. So we may have to take one more step. Now I was thinking that it would automatically show because this hard drive was pulled from a unit uh, so it might have already been formatted. Usually when you install something brand new, uh, you have to go into the uh, device manager and uh, recognize it. But just uh, we're going to come back to that in just one sec. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, we had to go ahead and go into disk management. Now, I didn't go ahead and do anything until we got back on the air here. So you can see we have uh, disk zero, which is the C drive, the operating system. Uh, disk one, which is my storage drive, the two terabyte that I installed. And then we have a disk two, which is unallocated, 238.47 gigabytes, which makes sense. That's a 256 gigabyte drive that we just put in. So we're gonna have to go ahead and right click it and go for a new simple volume. The wizard will automatically guide you through it. It knows what it's doing unless you're super techie and want anything in particular, just yes it to death. Um, they want the, uh, the drive letter, they want to assign this is the E drive, which is fine because I have a C and a D, so this will be E. You can make it an X drive if you want. You can name it any letter you want, but we're gonna go with E. Uh, NTFS, we're gonna go, uh, actually, you know what? I wanna go FAT32 on that. Extend fat instead. 
the volume label uh, that I'm going to be is going to be music. We'll just put music for now. We could change that at any time. Okay, and then complete the wizard and just hit finish. All right, uh, formatting, it just formatted it, and here we are. So now, that's the music drive you can see, is the E drive. Okay, you can go ahead and, you can see here now, extended fat, good. I might change it, I might just wipe it and change it back to NTFS, I'm gonna do a little more research on that. Should've. So as you see here now, we have the C drive, I got 512 gig in there. A two terabyte for D drive for storage for all the games and music and pictures. I'm going to probably rename that music picks as the E drive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it. I am Double K. Uh, like this video. If you want to subscribe and you don't mind having a bunch of uh, subscriptions, uh, maybe I'll have some more stuff up soon. Thanks again. Everybody be excellent to each other. All right. One last note. Don't be this guy. Always thoroughly research your project and have all the parts ready before you begin. This way, it comes out the right way.